little intro. Well, hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. Today we are talking about the new Zhiyun 5Ray 100 RGB stick light. Now Zhiyun is known more for their camera stabilizers, but what I've noticed lately is that gear manufacturers are starting to get more into both audio and lighting. So let's take a look at this unit. Ah! Before we begin, Zhiyun did send over this unit. This is the F100, so that I could take a look at it and test it out. Zhiyun is not sponsoring this video, and they did not pay me to create this review. They had no input into the creation of this video, and nope, they were not allowed to see this video before right now when it's been published for everyone. <laughs> Check out this bag. Zhiyun seems to be adding modern artwork to their packages and boxes, which is kind of cool. Inside the box, there are basically three components. The electrical cord, the power charger, and of course, the light itself. Now, the first impression I had is that this thing Thing is definitely meant to be a handheld light. Everything about it just screams handheld. The front of the unit is obviously the light and the two barn doors, while the back of the unit contains the controls and the fans. Now on one side, you've got a USB charging port and a DC charging port. There's also a quarter inch threaded hole at the bottom, so you could definitely mount this thing to a light stand if you want to. Now the light weighs 950 grams and it does feel substantial in your hand. In fact, this thing is awesome and it could double up as either a baseball bat or a good defense weapon. Now these two reflective barn doors swing out like this and you can remove the barn doors if you want to. In fact, Zhiyun actually sells additional accessories that you can get for this thing, such as a diffuser and a grid that you can add on. I don't have those accessories in the studio to test, so I'm just gonna cover the light. And one of the things that I really love about this unit is the fact that you can close and open the barn doors in any position at all. So for example, if I open up the left door and then the right door, I can close with the left or the right, or I can close with the right and the left. It doesn't matter what order I close them. There are certain other lights, like this one right here, that you can't do that, and it can be frustrating. For example, these barn doors, check this out. If I go like this, it works just perfectly. But if I do it the other way, like this, I can't close them. You see that? It can only go one way, right? So I actually have had to put numbers on these things so that I don't have to think and I can just quickly close them, right? So I go, I go, okay. Ah, one, two, three, four. There, easy. So you don't have to do that with this. You can just close one or the other and it doesn't matter the order. Oh, it's the little things in life that make me happy. Now the opposite side of the unit contains a cooling system with six separate fans. Obviously this is to prevent overheating of the light and allow you to run it for a longer period of time. Obviously with fans come noise. And if you're shooting video, holding this thing near the microphone, would that noise be too loud? Loud, and I found it to be reasonably quiet unless you're holding it up right against the microphone. The light is controlled from the front of the unit and it contains a small screen and a selector dial in button. Now from that, you can dial in all kinds of lighting options such as color temperature range from 2700 to 6200 Kelvin. This is a 100 watt light and it does have a CRI of greater than or equal to 96 and a TLCI of greater than or equal to 97. It does have the ability, well, Oh, that's bright. It does have the ability to reach 20,708 lux at peak performance. Now I'm not gonna go through all the indexes and various specs of this light, but I will leave a link to their webpage where you can check out all of those additional details. This light, however, is an RGB light and it does have an HSI mode. You can dial in your hue, your saturation, and your intensity from zero to 100%. You also have some built-in creative lighting effects such as candle, fire, television, and so forth. This this is a 100 watt light and it's really meant for handheld use near your subject. Additionally, you can get some very nice and creative lighting effects by manipulating the barn doors. So is a 100 watt light that is basically a handheld power unit going to be sufficient enough for you as say a key light? Let's do a test. Okay, I've got everything turned off in the studio except for two lights. My Aperture 120D right here, which is my key light and 
hell. So this is what it looks like with just the key light, right, that I use that for every YouTube video that I've made for this channel, this is the main light on me. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch it out with the F100. Okay, here we are at 100% on the Zhuin light. And keep in mind that I've got no diffuser on here or anything like that. It's just straight coming at me. In fact, it's so direct, I'm going to give it a nice little diffuser. <laughs> Only the best around here. So here it is at 100% with a, a diffuser, okay? Which it's still pretty bright, I must say. This thing is cranking it out. Let me put it to 50%. So here we are at about 50, not about, actually exactly at 50%. Let me turn on now the fill light, all right? And obviously the thing about this is you can get real close. It's handheld, so it just makes it so handy. And again, you can adjust the barn doors a little bit. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is 1%. And obviously because it's RGB, you can dial in any hue that you want. Here it is in candle mode. And if I close the barn doors a little bit, it kind of looks like there's a candle on the desk. Now, as I mentioned, this comes with both a power cord and a charger, and you can also charge it with USB-C. And of course, you could just mount this thing and have it permanently plugged in if you want to, but you don't want to do that. The whole point of this thing is a handheld portable unit that you can take on set wherever you are and have it and manipulate it around your subject. And because this has a very substantial 2600 milliamp per hour battery that'll give you approximately 30 minutes of runtime at maximum power. The battery will take three hours though to fully charge. Now there is one area that I think could be improved for the next version of this light. And that isn't about the light, it's rather about the control wheel. I often found myself accidentally selecting the wrong choice in the menu as I found that the way the wheel and the button were positioned were simply too small ergonomically for my fingers. Usually when I'm dialing in something and if I'm on set, it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be like and I use my thumb to that effect. The problem is as I rotate my thumb around, I will accidentally sometimes hit one of these top, bottom, left, and right functions as well and change it out. So for example, right now I've got the light at 4,000 Kelvin, right? And if I wanted to reduce the intensity, I start to rotate it around. You see what my thumb is doing here? And that's all fine. But sometimes if I'm pressing a little bit too hard, I'll accidentally hit this part of the button here. Boom, whoops. Now I've switched it over to a different mode. Didn't mean to do that. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this wasn't a deal breaker, but I did have to slow down while adjusting the controls. Well, and maybe that's a good thing for me right? <laughs> to slow down a little bit. So for a version two of this light, I humbly and respectfully submit to Zhuin to do something to make just this dial a little larger and a little bit so that you can go a little faster with dialing it in and not accidentally hit one of these other settings. And the second thing, another feature that I think would be very interesting for another version of this light would be the ability to use an app to control this light as well. Hold on, to be clear, I far, far, far prefer having and using tactile real world controls than apps to control just about anything on planet Earth, okay? Most apps are terrible. However, having a well-written and easy to use app to remote control this light would be an awesome addition to an already great product. If you had one person holding the light, okay, and worrying about the placement of the light, and then you had a second person who had it dialed in on the app, the second person can control the temperature and whatever the light is doing from the app, while the first person is controlling the location and the position of it. It's just, it's another option. The bottom line here is that if you are looking for a very versatile, quiet, extremely portable, handheld 100 watt RGB light, then this is an excellent unit for that. And again, my only issue has to do with the control dial and not the actual light or the build quality itself. And for these reasons, I would recommend picking up one of these, especially for video shoots, as they can be extremely handy to have. In the meantime, we have a special Gear Iguana announcement. Oh, I'm so excited to announce we've got a brand new Gear Iguana Hall of Fame member. Everyone, please welcome Jedi Yuki. First off, Jedi, thank you so much for joining the channel. It means so much to me. We are now going to add your name to the studio wall right here, where it will be forevermore. Just out of frame, but you know it's there. Let's do this.
Well, that's looking really good right now. We're about three quarters of the way through on the first column. If you've not yet joined Pal to Tech backstage, what are you waiting for? We start the week off every single Monday morning with coffee time. Sort of a behind the scenes look at what goes on with the channel. We also have a members only Discord server that is made up of photographers, filmmakers, editors, and all kinds of creatives where you can ask questions and talk about all things camera, Fujifilm, or just about anything else related. So Jedi, thank you so much for joining the channel and a big thanks to all of you that support Pal to Tech. Now, back to the show. You know, having to take the Gear Iguana Hall of Fame member board off the wall and, you know, do the work that I had to do, it started getting me thinking. And when I started Gear Iguana, you know, the joke was, your name goes on the studio wall just out of frame, but it's there, but it's just out of frame, but it's there. I want to do more with that. And so what I decided to do is I'm going to sort of display on important videos, not going to be on every single video, but on the key videos, the important videos, the ones that either I'm proud of or the ones that I know are going to be a big deal, like, you know, X-T5 review, stuff like that. I'm going to put put their names in the video at the end, kind of the post roll credits. I want to recognize them more. So if I haven't done so enough already, let me say again, thank you so much. Not just to the Gear Iguana members, but to all of you backstage. And I really hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I'm going to be signing off now, but have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in a new video next week. Take care. Juin is not sponsoring this video and they did not create me to create, <laughs> did not create me. Juin definitely did not create me. Let's try this again. Okay.